We coming at you from Lake Minden today with another Canteen Cup Tuesday. Today we're going to try something a little bit simpler. I know I've been making some complex Creole recipes. Well, this is just something that's southern goodness um, with a Creole twist because I always got to use that slap your mama. But what we're going to be working with today is we're going to be making um, Amara... Um, that's right, we're going to be making fried cabbage with sausage. So that's what we're working with today. Let me just go ahead and try and show you what, what we've got. I got the little Hidden Woodsman Tinder Pouch, but the Tinder Pouch, I didn't want to use it for Tinder. Man, it makes an excellent food bag. So look what we got today, if I could show you. Can't have fried cabbage without cabbage. Then we've got trying something new. I've got some dehydrated onions or they're not dehydrated what are they freeze-dried onions a little bit of garlic got always got to have garlic and in the magic pouch let's put this to the side I got andouille sausage two strips of bacon and so that that's gonna be our simple cook so let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing I gotta do is I gotta take these onions and I gotta rehydrate them now they say you're supposed to boil them for about um, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, about 10 minutes to get fully rehydrated. So we're just going to go ahead and add some water, fire up this canteen cup. And while that's rehydrating, then we're going to go ahead and get our vegetables prepped. So it says only use two parts water for one part of the vegetables. So I'm just pouring a little bit of water in there. Hopefully it doesn't all boil off and scorch my vegetables. First time I'm trying this to rehydrate them just like this. So, what I'm gonna do, get those poured off in there. Figure out what we can put this. Just throw this down here. I guess I should have grabbed a lighter before I started doing this. I ain't messing around with no ferro rod or nothing today. Okay, so I got that lit. Let that sit right up there. Let's get some gloves on and prep these vegetables. Got my gloves in this little film canister that works real good. Tried to put up this little windscreen for this Firebox Nano. First time I'm using that. It ain't really working too well, but hey. All right, next what we want to do is prep our cabbage. So I got a, a quarter of a head of cabbage here. Probably could have used a little bit less. We'll see how much we go with. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm working with to start out. Just cutting it into, I'm gonna cut it a little bit thinner actually since it's going in this cup. Usually I cut it into about one inch pieces. But because it's going in the cup, I'm gonna cut it a little thin. Okay, them onions are really boiling right now. Yeah, that's a good amount of cabbage. We'll see how much more we're gonna use. I'm gonna take some of this heart out since I can. And just again, cut it real thin. Got my vegetables boiling, they smell good. So it's the first time I use these freeze dried vegetables. Uh, I forget the name of it. I wanna keep wanting to say Morning Star Farms, but I know that's not it. Um, but yeah, I used about two teaspoons of them. 
just for the canteen. But yeah, that's in plenty of cabbage right there. Garlic, we're good. Man, those actually smell like onion soup. I might have to do some onion soup because it smells like a good right now. That's those vegetables hydrating. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in this pan because what I want to do next is prep my bacon. But this pan, I like to kind of pre-season it, I guess you'd say. So we're gonna set that to the side for right now. Grab my meat. We're just gonna cut up this bacon and this sausage. Little trick, this is what I do. A lot of people try to fry their bacon and then they go ahead and um, add it to their dish. What I do, you know, when I say they add it to their dish, they break it up. But me, I pre-cut my bacon and then fry it. It's way easier. Just a little tip, pro tip, how that is a pro tip. How's that? I don't know if it's a pro tip or what, but uh, this ain't working. This bacon got too cold, but still I'm going to dice it up. That just is not working like it's supposed to, like it does at home. Bacon got too cold. Bacon got too warm. So, usually at home, it gets in nice pretty little slices, little squares. Here outside first time I cut raw bacon it's ugly so pro tip scratch everything I said <laughs> ah, yeah no but I'm still doing it because you'll see how it works out works out really good so that's two slices of bacon that we're using all right so our vegetables have hydrated pretty well I'm just going to take them off the flame, let them sit there a little bit longer, and leave them in the canteen cup. What I want to do now is fry off my bacon. So I'm going to get my skillet hot, get my bacon going, then we'll cut up this sausage. How about it? So I got my skillet hot. It's smoking. That's what I call just trying to, I guess what? cure it. Now I forget what I was trying to do. You know what I'm saying. Where you make it non-stick. Yeah, I forget what the name is. Anyway, let me throw this bacon in here. Let's go. It's nice and hot. that's going I'm gonna cut up my sausage All right, our bacon's just about done. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the water on the onions and then put the onions and this bacon in the canteen cup. Yeah, and get ready with this sausage. All right, so I wanted to give you a picture. That's what the rehydrated vegetables look like. That don't look too bad. Keeping the bacon grease, cause I'm gonna brown my sausage in the bacon grease. You can see the bacon real nice don't have to break it up don't waste any of the bacon got all the bacon that way so cutting it up works pretty good that's what i do when i'm cooking with bacon if i'm cooking with bacon instead of crushing it up afterwards just go ahead you get bigger pieces instead of the other way and you can get them cooked to the right doneness i don't know i just like doing it that's the way my mama did it that's the way i do it 
Now that's why I do it this way. So, pro tip, it worked. Now, all right, so now we got that grease in there. Do that. Throw our sausage right in the skillet. Cooled down a little bit, obviously. It didn't get a sizzle, but we'll get it hot again. Just got a little jingle bell. So something's playing with my line, probably a little one. But yeah, usually when I start doing these canteen videos, somehow I always start catching fish. Now, like I'm complaining, if I catch a fish, I might even do a catch and cook. Who knows? Just like I said, as soon as I get a cook going, I get a bite. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. Come on. All right, come out here and do canteen cup cooks more often. I'm about to mess up my gloves. Just my drag. Let's see what we got swimming towards me right now. There he is. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's pulling a little bit of drag. This might be a good one. I might not be able to do a catch and cook on this. Here he comes. He just broke the surface. He's fighting. Yeah. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, we ain't doing a catch and cook with this one. Oh, now I gotta get this fool out of here. Oh my goodness. He's rolling. He better not come off. Oh man. God, that's a good one. Let's see. He's pulling his back. Oh, he's rolling. Nope, not under there. Not under there. We did that before. Okay, I got to flip him out. Oh, man. Lake Mini Channel Cat. Come on. Oh, tighten up my drag. Oh. Yeah, this is good. This is why I need a net. Oh, come on. My adrenaline is pumping right now, Jack. Let's see if I can get Don't break them. Don't break them. That's a good one. Oh, don't break them. Man. Oh, how am I going to get it? Come on. That circle hook got it, but. Man. Woo. Let's see that boy. I'm going down again. I'll take this glove off. I'm just gonna try and flip. It. Keep it. Oh man, my drag not tight. Keep it. Oh. 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 Well. Uh, man. I lost it, but that was a good fight. That joker was big. Oh, I knew I couldn't get him. I knew something told me to bring my net today. Man. Oh. Oh. My drill is pumping. Even if I didn't land it, 
That was the best fight at Lake Minden I ever had. Me? Huh. That's fishing. Yeah. Let's get back to this canteen cup cook. Man, that was a big joker, man. He was big. Man, my adrenaline is pumping. My heart's pounding. That was a crazy fight. That was crazy. Man, I wish y'all could have seen him. That joker was big. I'm all jazzed up, shaking, trembling. I wanted him so bad. I, I just couldn't get him, man. You saw what he was doing. He was fighting like crazy. And, um, yeah, but my adrenaline's pumping. My line's all out of the water now. I, I got to tie off. I'm in the middle of this cook. I'm going to go ahead and get this cook going. I'm going to throw back out there and see if I can get another one. Rainy day. Beautiful. Under a tarp. Big fun. It's a good life. It's a good life. All right. So now, see what I'm doing? Just browning off my sausage. Now, the beautiful thing about keto is I don't have to be scared of all this grease. I'm going to let this grease go into my pot, into my cabbage. And it's going to work wonders. But just trying to caramelize my sausage a little bit. It's releasing some of its own fat, some of its own flavor. And then, I'm gonna drain a little bit of this fat because fat really don't need too much. Let me drain a little bit of this fat and I'll be right back with you. What I'm also gonna do at this point is throw in my bacon, my onions, and my garlic. Whoa, don't do that, fat boy. Okay, and just kind of look at that. Let that all marry together. Ooh wee. Now we're cooking. Outside. Cooking it up. Look at that. Look, smell a vision. Smell a vision. Sauce bon. Sauce bon. That's good. Yeah, those onions, they're doing real good too. Speaking of these um, freeze-dried onions, I actually got a freeze-dried trinity. So I got bell pepper, onion, and celery. I figured I didn't need garlic because, you know, garlic's really portable. Like I was saying before the camera turned off, garlic is really portable. So that way, you know, you don't have to use freeze dried. You can use fresh. But if you're backpacking or something, not like a fat brother is backpacking. But this way, it works. Look at that merry together. Just keep it moving. I'm keeping it moving because I don't want to burn my garlic on this hot skillet. Or else your garlic will turn bitter. But look at all that color in there. All that flavor in there. So, that's what you want to get. Oh, you can smell it. Oh my goodness, we making fried cabbage, boy. We making fried cabbage. It's smelling delicious. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trick it a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead. Normally I just throw this, you know, I'd be cooking this in a big pot, but because it's hard to stir in this canteen cup, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna throw in our cabbage first. So, oh, now I'm using the wrong hand. Throw in this cabbage. I'm just gonna kinda of press it down. It's gonna make a lot of its own water, too, just so you know. So what I'm gonna do, yeah. We got a lot of cabbage in there, I'm gonna go ahead and Add some water to this just so I can sweat it down a bit. Just add a little bit of water. Sweat it down. And then cover it up. Let that sweat down for a minute. Okay, while we're waiting for this cabbage to cook off, I had to go ahead and get my larger windscreen. But I wanted to show you guys something that I just recently got. 
Um, I got this little this little spice kit. So it's a little mini spice kit. Pretty excited about that. Um, now the thing is about this spice kit is that it's got things like you you know cinnamon. So that might be pretty good. It's got sea salt. I'll use that black pepper. Um, it's got some, you know, um, thyme and some nutmeg. Nutmeg, I probably am not ever going to use. So when I saw this, I, you know, I got to change out the seasonings. And I'm going to put in, um, you know, my seasonings. You know, I'm going to put in some, so, some, you know, blackening um, sauce. I'm going to put in some blackening sauce. What I'm trying to say. I'm going to put in some blackening seasoning. I'm going to put in some of that slap your mama, some gourmet burger that's what I like to use and um, some chicken stock because chicken stock you got to use chicken stock a lot or I do anyway like even for this recipe I'm gonna add a little chicken stock instead of salt and then I also got some um, steak and chop Weber Gordon steak and chop that I like to use and so what I wanted to show you was I, I was inspired saw something on YouTube I had ordered this and the night I ordered it then I went and I saw this and I'm going to show you this is a little Altoids tin it's beat up this Altoids tin is about 10 12 years old so that's pretty cool but this guy made a little mini spice kit using bags so look at this I got that slap your mama in there what else I got I got I got chicken stock yes yes I've got that Creole blackening seasoning yes yes I've got some of that gourmet burger that's right and then top it off I got a little bit uh, of that um, steak and chop so that was cool and that all fit and it's a little bit bigger because brothers we like seasoning we like seasoning and that works real well so I'm gonna pull out that slap your mama right now I'm gonna pull out that chicken stock and we're gonna season this up. That fish wouldn't have got away. Well, I wouldn't have cooked that fish here anyway. That fish was too big. That would have made a fish fry for sure. That just ain't gonna be lakeside cooking that joker up. But anyway, let's get back into this. See how these vegetables are doing. Okay, so this is what I wanted you to see. Look how that sweated down. So I had that canteen packed, but as you can see, it's half a cup now. So now's the time let's get this going really quick this thing burns really hot but we're gonna add just a little bit cuz especially cuz we're using canteen cup add a little bit of chicken stock gotta have that slap your mama so let me get this opened up. Hey, this is a great little spice kit. Let me do this. Because I don't want to over season. Yeah, so we're going to add a little bit of slap your mama. A little bit of chicken stock. Let's give it a stir. Get it all blended together real good. Scrape the bottom of this canteen cup. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to this canteen cup. There we go, just so we don't scorch and we get a little simmer. And we're gonna throw in everything else. Oh, let's see how we gonna work this out. Okay, I don't wanna waste none of this. Throw that in. Man, and then I gotta get my line retied. I gotta catch another fish. Or I gotta catch a fish. Oh, I gotta drop the bacon and a sausage. Messing around, talking, I'm looking at trying to catch a fish. Alright. Those onions did really good. So, let's see. Make enough noise for you. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at that there. Yeah. Let's just stir it up a bit. Actually, I don't want my meat to scorch, so I'm gonna let that meat sit on top. 
but I want it to kind of flavor my cabbage, so I'm stirring it in. What am I talking about? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now, one thing about fried cabbage is they talk about fried cabbage, but it's really not fried. It's just greasy cabbage. <laughs> That's all it is. You don't fry it. You, you actually simmer it down. Now, if you wanted to, I'm on this keto. I'd add a little bit of sugar to this to really wake it up. Now, check back to see if we got to put something else in here in just a second, but I want to let this cabbage get real soft. So, man, I mean, this is, you know, it depends on how you like your salt, your cabbage. Really, I like mine, you know, really not crunchy. So, if you like your cabbage crunchy, you can go for it right now. But, let's set that on there. Put this lid on here. And then, you know what? Before I put that lid, why not? Why not? We're going to add... A little bit more slap your mama. Why? Because we can. Because we can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Sauce bone. That's good. That's what sauce bone is. That's good. Oh, got a little juice down there at the bottom. Huh. Forgot my bannock. Okay. Let that ride for a little bit. I'm going to kind of clean up this area. And we'll be back with you. The rain's starting to come down. I had to kind of move stuff over to the side a little bit. Because I didn't set up ideally for the wind, obviously. But live and learn. The table was getting wet. Moved in a little bit closer. All right. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Let me not get out of shot. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah. That's lunch. Let me check the juice down at the bottom. Oh yeah, plenty of juice. Good. Yeah, look at it. See if you can see that. That's what we're working with. That's an easy meal. Easy meal. Yeah, that's just about done. Let that simmer. You can see, man, that cabbage really cooked down. So that's what you want to remember. Your cabbage, I used a whole quarter of a cabbage for one cup. It's a decent meal. Yeah, so if you're feeding two, you want to use, you know, a half a cabbage, whatnot. But it cooks down quite a bit. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let me just show you. Come on, let's get some smell of vision Look at that. Bacon, sausage, onion, garlic, yeah, all that slap your mama chicken broth. Good stuff. Another one in the bag. Smells just like at home. Only thing I would add a little sugar. Yeah, or if I had some of that swerve. That's that keto sugar. This is pretty much done. I'm just gonna let this ride just for a couple more. And then we'll plate it up and be ready to eat met a really nice guy, man, named Robbie, I believe it is. Um, he, he's out here with his family for two weeks. Nice kids. Just had a good time chit-chatting. So my food's probably cold now, but um, really enjoyed it. I guess, I, how would you say it? It was pleasantly interrupted. So, hey, Robbie, if you're watching, man, it was really nice meeting you. Uh, um, enjoyed chatting with you. I hope you go get some of that CJ's Monster Bait, get you a free soldier tarp, and get on them catfish. All right. Yeah, well, with that said, man, let's go ahead, get this plated up for you guys. Let's, oh, man. Oh, and look at this. It's still warm. That's excellent. Canteen cup. Still warm. But, let's see. Making enough noise for you? Now I'm getting all the garlics. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at it. That's good. Man, that, that's that's Creole fried cabbage. Whatever southern fried cabbage. I call it Creole fried cabbage. Everything Creole to me. Um, but, man, check it out. Look at bacon, the onions, that garlic. Can you get it? Can you get it? That's good stuff, man. Another canteen cup in the bag. That's it. Let's say grace and eat up.
Amen. Amen. God is good. It's a good life. Ça c'est bon. Got good food. Oh man. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. You, you know the thing about cabbage. When you cook cabbage down right, it really gets sweet. You know, I said you could add some sugar, but this is good. Also, another little trick. Let's see if I can show you this. Look, look how well my bacon hold, held up. You see, when you cook the bacon the way like the way I did, then you can get it so it holds up real good. You can see the bacon; it just doesn't disappear into your dish. And bacon's all, always good. And then, look at that. Got that andouille sausage. That's always good. These onions, I think they imparted a little sweet to it too. Real good. It's just chicken broth. Mm. Slap your mama in there. Hold on. I gotta do one thing. <laughs> you know me. Always got that Louisiana red dot. Just drizzle a little bit of that Louisiana red dot on there. Now we talking. That's going to give me the spice that I like. That's the spice of life right there. Well, there you have it, folks. Another Canteen Cup Tuesday in the bag. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are trying the recipes and liking them, I encourage you to try this one. It's good stuff. This is good home cooking outside. That's what we do. Home cooking outside. Fat brother. Keto friendly, by the way. Did I say that? Keto right here with this one so yeah it's a good one man it's a good one I enjoyed you guys watching enjoyed you guys watching y'all know what i mean i'm thank you for watching that's what i'm trying to say like pound it subscribe do all that fun stuff check me out on instagram instagram fat outdoors if you're on fish brain check me out on fish brain fat outdoors and, and yeah as always fat folk remember this get outside enjoy life and always have a lot of fun at it. P-H-A-T. Fat Outdoors. Well, well, folks, check this out. Just met some guys out here. They're out here fishing. And that fish that I was going to throw back, guess what? They're about to hook it up and do a little fish fry. And we're going to run over there and get some catfish nuggets. Do it real good. What's your name, sir? Mark McCray. Mark and, and, and my son, Rick. Richard. And son, Rick McCray. 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 Right, M-C-C-R-A-Y. Right. And, and I want you to tell everybody like this. You got to say it like this. Get outside, enjoy life, oh. and always have a lot of fun at it. Can you say it? Get, Get outside, outside, enjoy, enjoy life, life, and, and always, always have a lot of fun at it. a lot of fun at it. There you go, man. Fat outdoors. Let me Dude, get this wait, fish, wait. man. And when you guys stop by, I hope he shows you hey. the chicken. Or I, I call it chicken because the catfish is going to taste like chicken. There you go, man. There you go. <laughs>